you for joining us today on FNN News. It is 10 Thermidor. I am your anchor, Sebastian Diaz, accompanied by Vincent Curtis. Hi. <clears throat> today marks a changing point in the French Revolution. Maximilien Robespierre, the most well-known founder of the Committee of Public Safety the, and the man behind the reign of terror, has tried to commit suicide this morning with no success while being held captive in the city hall. His cause for the death toll has ranged in the tens of thousands, while 31% of the executions during the reign of terror were working class only, 7% were clergy, and 8% nobility. Vincent, does this seem as a coincidence? Well, good morning and happy birthday. Sir. I don't believe this is a coincidence. It was such an overpopulation of the middle class, and it seemed as if Robespierre wanted an end to the lower society. Sometimes people died for their political opinions or actions, though many for little reason beyond mere suspicion or because some others had a stake of getting rid of them. I agree, Vincent. Now let's see what Ashley has for us. She is on the scene in Town Square, where she will give us more information. Good evening, Ashley. How are you? How are you, Ashley? Thanks, Sebastian. I am here in Town Square, where it seems to be the entire Francis population gathering in hope to view Robespierre's execution. I'm getting notified that Robespierre will make his way down this street on his way to the guillotine. Okay, there he is now. Robespierre, Robespierre. As we can see, the crowd is enraged. Women are scratching and terrorizing him. He's coming closer. I would try to get an explanation from him. Robespierre, why did you try to commit suicide? I have no explanation. Answer, you fool. I couldn't face the evil that I created. Why did you create this evil in the first place? I thought that the terror would bring virtue, because terror is nothing else than justice, prompts, severe, and inflexibility. Well, obviously you were wrong. Hold up a second. <laughs> All I ever wanted was to improve the society and create a new government. Do you believe that you succeeded in what you were planning? All I can say is that the revolution will not die with me. We'll see about that. Wait, wait, I have a couple more questions. <clears throat> well, Sebastian, I tried getting all the information I could. As you can see, <clears throat> as you can see, the crowd is still outrageous and will not be satisfied until they witness the end of Robespierre. Robespierre making his way to the guillotine platform. Like the head, we are rolling on the floor laughing. Ha <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a sudden change of events. Now let's see what our commentator Davila has to say. Good evening, Davila. Hello, Sebastian. Well, Robespierre already got what he deserved. He was calling for demands on slavery and rails against the death Okay. This man found a new device that we all know so well, which is called the guillotine. This beheading machine becomes the death place to thousands of people. Anyone who was suspected of traitor was murdered. Um, but Rosemary had a plan before all this. He believed fear was the way to run this movement. To make the people scared of the government, he was the man of terror. Results like massive death and the declaration of war on exhaustion. Oh, and also because of the start of this new revolution, the so-called Brunswick Manifesto was declared war. That threatened destruction of Paris and the harm of the king and queen, but it failed. One of Robespierre's colleagues, Danton, inspired many to join him the battlefront. But Danton and Robespierre installed martial law which puts France under military rule. More and more blood was spread on the streets of Paris with Robespierre movement. The Committee of Public Safety and all the terror in France had a breaking point with from within. Danton disagreed and was sentenced to death. Robespierre was sentenced to death and he cowardly attempted to commit suicide but survived with a scattered drum. But today, on June 6, 1794, the man of terror if on his, was on his way to have the same fate as thousands of others. 
Well, I promise you, Robespierre had already died in his dignity, but his philosophy states terror without virtue is a disastrous state of virtue without terror. In my opinion, he got what he deserved, and many people don't have to suffer, and he saw it from the evil that he created. Back to you, Sebastian. Today we have witnessed a true historic event. The actions Robespierre took for a better revolution led to his own downfall. Now the true question is whether or not the revolution will die along with Rose Spirit or not. Coming up next, Mike Hawk with some important interview with a young man by the name of Napoleon, who has been spreading his ideas throughout the streets, gaining supporters. <laughs> I'm Sebastian Diaz signing off. I'm Vinny, and two plus two is four. Lemons. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes people die for their political opinions. Why did you try to commit suicide? Answer, you no fool! Explanation. Answer! I have no explanation. I couldn't... Way, way up. <laughs> you know, Rose Pierre was sentenced to death and he cowardly attempts to commit... Committed to suicide. I don't know. I must go. Okay, go. Um, in my opinion, he deserved what he got and now he's gonna suffer. Yeah. Ooh, restart. <laughs> Ooh, restart. Ooh, restart. Got <laughs> what he deserved, and what? Okay, do I go now? Okay. Personally, I believe he got what he deserved, and he should. In my opinion, he got what he deserved, and many people don't have to suffer from the death of the guillotine. And okay, let's go look at. Today we have witnessed a true historic event. The actions Robespierre took for a better revolution led to his own downfall. <laughs> the true question is, whether or not the revolution... <laughs> <laughs> Today we have witnessed a true historic event. The actions Robespierre took for a better revolution led to his own downfall. <laughs> I buzzed it up. I buzzed it up. I'm going to start from there, right? Now the true question is whether or not the revolution will die along with Rose here. Coming up next, Mike Hawk. Mike Hawk. She was like, what? She was like, Hawk. Now the true question is whether or not the revolution will die along with Rose here. Come on! <laughs> now the true question. <laughs> <laughs> now the true. <laughs> Dude, come on, don't laugh. My name is Sebastian Diaz. And I'm Vinny. And two plus two is four. Wink. <laughs>